On this walk and roll, we'll check out one of the priciest ingredients in the Chinese kitchen. Do you mean for one pound? No, no, for, for one. For one, one, one of these. It's worth $170. This is definitely some one percenter kind of food right here from back in the day. The way they gauge the price of this stuff is by how many abalone need to be put together to make one jean, which is about one pound. So back in the day, during the Qing Dynasty, abalone was the currency of networking for the mandarins. Each would give according to their rank. A seventh level young Jedi of officers would bring seven abalone per jean, the ones on the cheaper side, up to the grand masters of the first level, who would have to find one fat abalone that weighed one whopping jean all by itself. Similar to the steak dinners that are traded by enterprising power brokers today. Uh, so why are these two Japanese ones such good quality? Oh, so they have it hanging up like that with some string going okay, through okay, it. Okay, 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 like that. He was showing me that you can see really small up here is this little hole. Now that plus this line right here is a guarantee of the quality. And what that's from is the way that they dry it from a certain family in Japan. They do it just their own way. And another thing about this line right here is that Chinese people believe that it resembles a certain part of the female body. And I'll leave it up to you to decide which part it is. Check out a private cuisine that goes back to the Qing Dynasty. But he tries something dried like this, and it shows how awesome Chinese technique can be. All that and more on this Walk and Roll.